One of my favourite Christmas carols is Oh Holy Night. I think it's so meaningful and with such beautiful lyrics. It says, a ray of hope, the weary world rejoices, for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. If ever we needed a ray of hope, I think it's now. And if ever we felt weary, I think it's now. And is it possible that the weary world can rejoice at this time of year? I really hope so. All of us have felt weary through COVID times, possibly even utterly exhausted, mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, in every possible way. We're a weary world. And yet at this time of year, we can find things to rejoice in. We can find things to be grateful for, find things to be happy about. Let's focus on what we have rather than what we lack. Let's focus on all of the good things. Let's focus that we've got through another year and we've done it together. The weary world rejoices for yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. When I did some trauma training recently with a national chaplaincy organization, they were saying the problem with this crisis we are in is that the point of recovery and uh, re restoration is further and further away from our grasp. That's what makes us exhausted. There's a proverb in the Bible that says, hope deferred makes the heart sick. And that's really true, isn't it? And yet it goes on to say, but a promise fulfilled is like a tree of life. And this Christmas time, it really is a promise fulfilled. The coming of Christ is our ray of hope. So stay strong, friends. The weary world can rejoice at this time of year. Mm -hmm.